Hey baseball fans, how's it going? Hayden here. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over five predictions that I would like to see happen for the New York Mets this offseason. So let's stop wasting any more time and let's dive right into it. So the New York Mets offseason has begun, and to put it simply, they will be quite active and productive throughout this time. The Mets and David Stearns have a lot to work ahead of them with the new front office. These are five things I hope to see occur. So the first thing I hope to see happen this offseason for the Mets is for the New York Mets to sign Japanese star pitcher Yinshibo Yamamoto. Yamamoto, age 25 posted one of, if not one of the best statistical seasons in the Nippon professional baseball history this season. As a starting pitcher for the Oryx Buffaloes in 2023, he played in 23 games, pitching 164 innings, going 16-6 and with a win-loss record, posting an ERA of 1.21, a whip of 0 0.8, 169 strikeouts, two 28 walks. His pitching repertoire includes a 95-plus mile-per-hour fastball, a, an elite slider, and his best pitch, the forkball, very similar to current Mets pitcher Kodai Senga's ghost forkball. It has been Yamamoto's put-away pitch. With 967 and two-third innings pitched over seven NPB seasons, he has a career ERA of 1.72 on September 9th of the season, when he also struck out 14 batters. He has thrown multiple no-hitters in his career, two to be exact. His material is excellent and will probably make an impression wherever he contracts right away. In addition to being a superb pitcher, Yamamoto has demonstrated his defensive skills by being one of the only specific league pitcher to win the Matsui Golden Glove Award three times in a row. This offseason, the Mets should prioritize signing Yamamoto. It goes without saying that they will be actively involved in the starting pitching and relief markets. Pairing Yamamoto and Senga at the top of a rotation gives them an elite one-two punch that could make them have a nice run in the season and hopefully the postseason. He's in a position to get one of the biggest deals because of his age and talent. A contract going from six to eight years costing around plus $200 million could be ideal. The second thing I hope to see for the New York Mets to do this offseason is to sign a talented and consistent DH. New York's biggest need is finding a legitimate designated hitter. Since the NL adoption of the DH back in 2022, the Mets have certainly struggled with having a talented and consistent DH. While many other teams have benefited from it, the Mets sadly have not. To fill the DH spot, the Mets have a few ways they could address this, whether that's internal from one of the baby Mets or someone in the minor leagues, or they could look at the free agent market where there are a number of potential fits. And with that said, I would like to see the Mets go after and sign Teoscar Hernandez. Hernandez would be an interesting fit, and with him having experience as an outfielder, he at least offers some versatility. A career slash line of 261, 317, 487 hitter, Hernandez has eclipsed 25 home runs every year since 2019, with the only exception, of course, being 2020, when he smacked 16 in 50 games. Some other information of Hernandez can consist of him being in the 90th percentile in hard hit percentage, the 88th percentile in barrel percentage, and the 81st percentile in average exit velocity. All of these consist of him being in top percent in the league. The third thing I hope to see happen this offseason for the Mets is to build a back a bullpen. Uh, this may sound like a hyperbole, but it's true. While the Mets will gain their star closer Edwin Diaz back from injury and have also brought back Brooks Raley, those two arms are not enough. To put it in a simple way, the Mets last season had way too many mid and nobody arms in the bullpen. And if they want to compete in 2024, that cannot be the issue. Flame-throwing Jordan Hicks is an intriguing option. He does have some serious health concerns and only two full seasons above average since debuting in 2018, but he is an option. David Robertson is another option. He was moved to the Miami Marlins at the trade deadline by the Mets. He didn't want to be traded. Furthermore, it would be most logical for the Mets to think about bringing him back and putting him as a potential setup man. After being traded to Miami, Robertson struggled. However, he did rebound a lot in September. 
So giving a guy like Robertson a one-year deal would be ideal. The fourth thing I hope to see happen this offseason is for the Mets to extend Pete Alonso. It's simple. Extend him. Pete Alonso is a fan favorite and has been one of the best Major League Baseball players since his debut back in 2019. This is a clear and obvious move. Locking up Alonso this offseason is a much-needed thing to do. Coming in to our fifth and final thing I hope to see happen this offseason for the Mets is for them to try and build and lock down an adequate bench. You look at many of the powerhouse teams in baseball, such as the Dodgers, the Braves, the Phillies, the Astros, etc. They all have very talented to adequate benches. The Mets need to build and revamp their new version of a bench mob. This could consist of some guys like the Baby Mets, a free agent signing, a call-up. A few names that could stand out are to bring back a guy like Tommy Pham or a veteran player like Adam Duvall. The bench is a very, very vital and underlooked at thing for the Mets. Injuries happen. It's a 162-game season. Players get tired. Injuries happen. Players need days off. And the Mets need to have well-talented guys out there on the bench. To put it in simple, they cannot have Jonathan O'Ruse or those like type players taking 25 starts a season. Alrighty, baseball fans, and that is the end of this video. Please feel free to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and please feel free to let me know in the comment section, baseball fans. What are your thoughts on this? Do you agree? Do you disagree? What else would you like to see the Mets do this offseason? I'd be very interested to hear. Till next time, baseball fans, see ya.